In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up your online portfolio in just under an hour. Being a graphic designer, we need to get our portfolio up so we can actually attract clients and get more people to see our work. For me, I love this tool called Carbon Made. It's an amazing tool because you don't need to know any code, you don't need to be a designer, and it's actually super easy to build blocks, drag and drop, you can customize your blocks, there's no upload limit, and you can literally customize everything about it to make an amazing website. So you can see I've already got my little website that we need to customize here, and if you see I've got my portfolio, got a few elements here, but let's start to build out our projects. So. What I can actually do is I can actually scroll on the left hand side and you get all these building blocks you can actually drag and drop. So I can actually drag a gallery slideshow. So maybe you're an illustrator or a logo designer, you can just drop your files really easily. So I'm going to drag and drop a bunch of files here. And the cool thing about Carver Made is that they optimize all the images for you. So you actually don't need to do any extra work because they do it for you. And it's gonna be super fast just to drag and drop from the desktop or from your folder. And you can see now I've got this cool gallery and I can go through that really beautifully like this. And I think that's really cool. Now you can actually add in a whole bunch of other things. So maybe I wanna add a little contact info down the bottom. I can scroll down, I can drop that in. So maybe a client wants to call me. I can drop my name here. And the cool thing is that all text is customizable. You literally just click and type. It's that simple. You can also change the colors as well. I can select things. So if I select this, I can change the color. Maybe I wanna to go to like a blue. That's pretty cool, love that. So what if you wanna add a project? What I can actually do is click on the left-hand side, you'll see this little icon that's like a briefcase, it says projects, we wanna click that. And what we can actually do is upload our project. So I wanna call this Craft Whiskey Society, one of my old client projects. I can find my thumbnail image and drag and drop that in. So it makes it super easy. So I've got my image there, and then I'm gonna click Save Project. Now I'm gonna left click and boom, we're ready to build that page out. So you've got a whole bunch of different ways you can do it. You've got like a slideshow option, an editorial one or gallery. And the cool thing is you can always change it up if you want. So I'm gonna click full screen. I've got the font here, so I can actually select this and I can actually change the font. So maybe I wanna go work sans. I like that font, I'll call like the project name. Craft Whiskey Society. You can actually select it all and actually make it bold, which is really cool. Um, I can put my name here. I'm gonna scroll down here and you can see I've already got some of these blocks, but what if I wanna delete it? I can just click the little cog on the right hand side and you'll get these little icons. You'll see the little trash can. You wanna click that and it's gonna delete that block. I can also delete this one or I can actually clone a block as well. So if I wanna clone it, that's pretty cool. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop the gallery grid drag and drop it really easily like that. And then once again, I'm just gonna select all my images from my project and drop it in. Just are done, you can see I've got this nice lovely grid. I can left click and it's gonna open up into like a light box, which I think is awesome. I'm just gonna click off that. But what if I wanted to change these columns? Maybe I wanted three columns or four. I'll go to the right hand side, click the clog and it's gonna say customize block. I can actually move this column bar, but maybe I want one column, maybe I want three, four, it can go all the way to up to 10, which is pretty cool. So you can see the columns there. I might want three. I might wanna make the gap a little bit smaller, like that. And I can make it full width if I want, or I could just leave it like that. I think it's looking really cool. What if I wanted to reorder some things? So what I can actually do, I'm just gonna add a project description here. And then what I can actually do is if I can click the little arrow button, and you can actually reorder things. So I can drag and move things around just really like that, super simple. So maybe I want this at the top or the bottom, the grid up the top, totally fine. And I can click done. And then I can go in and customize. So, you know, I can say client uh, project, des project description maybe, and like the role. And maybe I want to put like date or something. So uh, I can do like 2020, um, logo design, brand identity. I'll just put CWS for Craft Whiskey Society, which is cool. And then I can pull the description, um, Whiskey Subscription Service, like that, beautiful. 
Now, maybe we want to go edit the navigation. I can just go click on the top right and go click back to my home. And you can see we've got the home there, which is really cool. Um, I can actually go down to the left side and click on design. You can see it's like a little upward icon. I'll click that and I can actually go down to site navigation in menu. I can click the change navigation here. And the current one I have is, um, you can see I can apply the middle one and you can scroll down. I can do maybe a left centered one. So things, the menu will be on the left. Maybe I want just a standard version with the little hamburger menu or I can just do four corners. So there'll be text in all four corners. That's pretty cool as well. So I might go for the lefty one, kind of like that. And all I have to do is click apply and boom, you're done. And I can go ahead, I can you know change the size of the menu on the left. I can change the link color. So maybe I want it the, the orange as well. Uh, press done. So now the menu is orange. And maybe I want to go to the about page and actually customize something. So you can see Jerry Mira, I uh, can change this up. Um, is a let's go brand designer let's go from, from Sydney Australia cool and that's I love coffee cats and cool design <laughs> boom uh, I got like that stuff I can always change that that's really cool so I've already added that in and then I've got like my contact in the bottom and I think that's really cool so beautiful, I've got my pages, I've got my home page, and I've got my project page as well, which I think is amazing. Now, once I'm happy with that, all I have to do is literally click publish at the top right corner. If you have do changes, it's always gonna ask you to republish, but if you it's your first time, it's gonna say go live. I'm just gonna click publish, and all I have to do now is click the little link at the top, and it's gonna open up my brand new website, just like that. Now I can see my portfolio, I can, click on the links, everything is working normally as I would want it, and beautiful. Got my little about blurb there, some logos, awards, and the projects, everything is looking superb. And that's how easy it is to set up your own portfolio site. So if you're ready to jump on Carbon Made and actually start building your portfolio, I'm actually giving away one month free of the pro version of Carbon Made. So you click the link in the comment section and also it'll be in the description. You can get one month free, play around with it, you know, test it out, try it out, see if you like it. But I guarantee it's gonna be super fun and super easy to make how your own website in the way you want it to. So that's super awesome. Super glad that you checked out this video. Hope it was helpful. Now remember to smash that like button and remember to subscribe because I post graphic design content every week and hopefully you can set up your portfolio on this weekend. Really appreciate it. Catch you next time.